OpenAI, famous for making AI easy for everyone, might be in money trouble. Running ChatGPT costs them a massive $250 million a year. Maybe they should ask their own AI for financial advice. Even with Microsoft's $10 billion backing, they're feeling the pinch as fewer people use ChatGPT's website and other free AIs pop up. If OpenAI doesn't get more money or cut costs, they could go bankrupt by 2024, which would be a big loss since they've done so much for AI. We hope they pull through. Google introduced new AI project, AdaTape, which is like a smart helper for computers. Instead of working on full potential on every task, it figures out how tough the job is and uses effort accordingly. Think of it as a tool that can adjust its power based on the job, like reading a long article and making a short summary. Clever move, Google. Bing AI, launched six months ago, now has cool updates like drawing images on request in a dark mode. It remembers past chats too. So far, it's had 10 million chats, sent 100 million messages, and drawn 1 million pictures. With 90% of users smiling and 80% coming back, people clearly love chatting with Bing AI. Gorilla is a new AI model co-developed by Microsoft and UC Berkeley that's incredibly advanced. Unlike other language models, it can connect to various online tools using APIs, making tasks like booking flights or ordering pizza a breeze. Built on an upgraded version called Llama 7B, it teaches itself using a dataset called API Bench and can even search the internet to understand new tools. Although it's closer to achieving artificial general intelligence, it's not quite there yet. OpenAI has a new web crawler called GPT-Bot that gathers internet text to improve their language models, like the upcoming GPT-5. GPT-Bot respects privacy by avoiding paywalls, personal info, and inappropriate content. Webmasters can easily give it the not today command. ChatGPT has six cool new features. There's prompt examples for fun conversations and suggested replies that make chats lively. It now uses GPT-4 by default and plus users get more messages. There's an upgraded code interpreter. Upload 10 files at once and let ChatGPT process or analyze them. Logging in, it's now more secure and easier with a 30-day login period. Also, there are handy keyboard shortcuts for quick actions. Kaba AI is a new smart operating system that learns and adapts to you. It customizes itself for each user and can even change its appearance based on what you're doing. You can use it alone or with another OS, and it keeps your data safe. It's so intelligent it asked me why the computer kept freezing. Turns out it had too many windows open. A meta introduced a tool named AudioCraft that turns text into realistic audio and music. It's made of three AI parts. Music Gen creates music from text. Audio Gen makes specific sounds like barking or car honks and Encodec compresses audio without quality loss. AudioCraft stands out because it uses more training data and advanced techniques, making its audio clearer and more versatile. It's also open source, so anyone can use or modify it. There's a new app called Text with Jesus that uses AI to let you talk with Jesus, the apostles, and more. Tried asking Judas about the 30 silver coins, and he said, worst investment ever. It's immersive, enriches your Bible knowledge, and appeals to both the young and the old. While the basic version is free, some premium features come at a divine cost. How do you feel about this tech meets faith idea? Share your thoughts. Leon Jones left Google because he thought it was a bit fishy. Teaming up with David Ha, they launched Sakana AI in Tokyo. Drawing inspiration from nature, their AI operates like swarms. The name Sakana means fish in Japanese, a nod to simplicity and unity. They feel giants like Google are swimming in shallow waters and aim to dive deeper into AI innovation. Thanks for tuning in, AI Girl out.